Uh, welcome. My name is Rob Favor. I'm a professor of English at SUNY Adirondack. Uh, this is a video for students in English 102, English 103, and English 105. Uh, these are separate courses uh, that I'm teaching this semester. 102 is academic writing, 103 is science writing, uh, 105 is social science writing. Uh, we have a common syllabus for these classes, but they'll be taught separately. Uh, the purpose of this video is to introduce you to the syllabus, to the course, and to how we'll be using Blackboard. If you're watching this video, it means that you either saw an announcement in Blackboard or that you received an email, or both, uh, in which you got the link to this video, a link that will bring you into office hours, which will begin on Thursday, the 10th of September, and a link that will get you into our Blackboard Collaborate class on Tuesday at the time for your class. So let's get right into Blackboard. Uh, this is the main page for Blackboard. There's a lot of help uh, on this page. I'm just going to log straight into the class. Use that first part of your SUNY Adirondack email, everything for the at sign. In this case, it's my last name, first initial. Some of you may have a number as well. And then that alphanumeric code to log in. Once we log in, we can see uh, you will see all the classes you're signed up for. This is showing the classes that I'm teaching this semester. And I'm going to go and use English uh, use English uh, 102. And bear in mind, the syllabus is the same for all three classes, and Blackboard is the same. It's just they're each a discrete uh, course. So I click on this. Um, and when I get here, you'll see a couple of things. Uh, one, there will always be announcements here, and you certainly can. You can certainly go to those announcements. You just click on it, and the announcement will come up. In this case, this is the announcement I posted uh, this morning. Today is Tuesday, the night, uh, the second of September, and I'll use announcements every week to let you know what's going on. To get into the other parts of the class, always use content. Content is over here on the left-hand side of the screen. You can go in through other ways, but if you do that, you're going to miss things uh, in the way that I've prepared the class. In other words, there are other ways into parts of the course here, but the main way into the course as I've designed it will always be through content. So I want, want you to encourage, to encourage you to always use the content tab that I'm swiveling around over here to come in. So just to show you how I've set up the class, we have a folder called Begin Here that I'll come back to in a moment. We have three writing labs, uh, one that runs from September to October, October to November, November to December. These are units in the course. We have a final reflection that will take the place of an exam. And in each of these labs, there are writing assignments we'll be working on and do at the end, as you'll see when you look at the syllabus. But I'm just going to spend a little time in the Begin Here folder. In this folder, you will see uh, uh, so several items. The syllabus, this is an item that I'd, I'd like you to spend some time looking at. Uh, we'll look at it quite closely in the first class on the 15th. There's an icebreaker and fire starter, so two ways to begin our work in the course. The icebreaker is a way for you to introduce yourself and your interests to others in the course. The fire starter is a way for us to uh, begin to work on the material of the course itself. If you can get to this before the first class, great. If you don't happen to get to it, then just plan to get to it within 48 hours of that first class on Tuesday the 15th. Uh, the rest of what's here we'll be looking at more closely uh, in the first class. We'll have a class notebook where I'll be asking uh, us to keep notes as a class, and I'll show you how we'll be doing that once we get into the class. And then I have a folder down here of readings for the course. Don't panic, you're not going to read everything you see in there. It's just materials that I found useful over time. Maybe we'll get to some of them, most of them. I doubt we'll get to all of them. They are resources there that you will find useful. So let me uh, go right into the syllabus and give you a preview of that. So the syllabus is here. And if you're not happy with the way that it views, you can click on this and we can get a larger view of the syllabus. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. It runs a little over eight pages. Uh, but I did want to just mark again, this is a syllabus for three courses. Uh, you're a student in either English 102 that meets Tuesdays at 2, English 103 that meets Tuesdays at 11, or English 105 that meets Tuesdays at 9.30. And again, those meetings are in Blackboard using Collaborate, and you will have the link as you're looking at this. If you need to get a hold of me, uh, Blackboard's the best way. 
email to this uh, email address here is is optimal as well uh, I don't have email on my phone so it may take me 24 hours to get back to you um, and I don't look at email after seven eight o'clock at night because I like to sleep um, there's a phone number here that you can always leave voicemail this is at my uh, office on the campus that I will not be using this semester during uh, our pandemic uh, uh, semester. Again, office hours are here, a note about the courses, and then the syllabus has these various sections. So there's a section on the course description and objectives on page two you could look at. There's a note about textbooks. I haven't ordered any textbooks. All of our reading will be online, uh, materials that I've found or materials that you find. Uh, the content of the course, this explains uh, the course and explains the approach I'm taking to the course. And I'm especially interested in discussing with you the propositions uh, that you find on page two to page three. These are our statements of purpose about the course and what a writing course is about. We can also discuss what is a writing lab and why have I organized the course as a series of writing labs. Structure of tasks, you'll find here very brief version, uh, uh, versions of all the assignments in the course. Um, fuller versions of the paper assignments are in Blackboard in the writing labs. So you can get a quick sense from, from uh, this part of the syllabus, but you can get more detail if you look in Blackboard itself. Details about grading, uh, some statements that you need to know about, and then there is a schedule. And I have the schedule in two forms, so I'm going to fly down to that. So our semester overview, I've given you some dates that we know leading up to the first class meeting. Uh, and then I've indicated about how long each writing lab will run through the course. And our course will wrap up with exams that run right up through the 23rd of December. Um, of course, it's possible to finish before that. And these are not meetings that we'll have in person anywhere. These would be happening, happening remotely. Um, a typical week, since that's a schedule people are maybe more interested to know about, is that uh, each week is organized around that Tuesday class and our online work. So, for instance, uh, next uh, on the 15th, so not, not the week of the 9th when classes start, but the week of when we have Tuesday the 15th, we'll have various activities that we do in class. There'll be some assignments given. And then due by my office hours on Thursday will be notes on Tuesday's class. So I'll ask for two students to take notes in, in our first class and post them no later than Thursday. And then starting no later than Thursday and finishing no later than Sunday midnight, we'll have some online tasks and discussion that I will explain in class on uh, Tuesday the 15th. And I'll have an announcement probably before class. Um, you can start ahead if you like. You can start to move ahead on that. So plan that we have Tuesdays to meet as a class, and then really from no later than Thursday through no later than Sunday, some intense online discussion. You won't be able to do this work logging in once in that period. You probably want to expect to log in two or three times uh, between Tuesday, uh, I'm sorry, well, between Tuesday's class and between Sunday uh, to initiate discussion, to participate in discussion, and to follow up on discussion. And again, in class, our first class will discuss uh, high quality posts and what I'm looking for you. That online work really is half of the work of the course, not counting homework, right? That's half of the work that we do uh, in the course. All right. uh, and then after that Thursday to Sunday discussion period every week, expect that before class on Tuesday, there'll be a couple of assignments for you to complete. Uh, including a couple students who will each week, and we'll vary this, do a, a review of what did we cover that week online, and maybe late follow-ups. Maybe you didn't get to everything for follow-up on Sunday, so you want to follow up on Monday before our Tuesday class. All right. So this is the schedule we'll use uh, through the middle of October, and at that point we'll reassess it to decide what's working and what do we need to tweak. Okay. So again, this is on the last page of the syllabus. Uh, that I have open here. Uh, and I encourage you to really look closely at the syllabus. It's a key document for us uh, in the course. All right, so coming back out uh, to content, uh, why don't I open up uh, just a couple things for you here. Uh, so the icebreaker and fire starter, uh, if you haven't used Blackboard before, there'll be in in destruction instructions here. And then if you click on that link, 
you will see that the icebreaker and the fire starter are two separate discussion uh, entries. You want to read the instructions carefully, and if you click on icebreaker, you'll come in and you'll see that there are already people working in here, which is wonderful to see uh, already. I'm really excited to see that. Uh, and to read what someone has written, you can click on the heading, and then you'll see uh, you'll see what it is that that person has written. And in our dis main discussions, you'll be able to reply. That's not always uh, necessary. But you can certainly reply uh, here if you want. So it's really good to see people already working. The icebreaker is introducing yourself. The fire starter uh, is when I'm asking people to begin to discuss uh, some issues that they may like to research uh, in the course. So again, great to see people already uh, working in here. You know, a week before the semester begins and almost two weeks uh, before our our uh, uh, our class will meet in person. Okay, so back out to content. So each of these folders is going to contain a series of elements. And um, if you're familiar with Blackboard, you've seen this before. If not, we will continue to work on it as we go forward. So I'll come back out to the home page for the class. And again, you'll see announcements here uh, and always go through content. I think that's the main thing I wanted to uh, show you for the class. So uh, welcome to the course. Uh, and uh, I look forward to uh, meeting you uh, online uh, in writing. Uh, also, feel free to come by my office hour uh, electronically on uh, Thursday the 10th. And I will see you in class on uh, Tuesday the 15th. Thank you.